Alright, hello again. So, what do we have to do? Right, any side quests? Anything? Letters? Nothing. Yeah. Alright. Well, let's see our stats. Rations. Oh, I still have a big chunk of meat. Mm, we should probably go around looking for lockpicks. How much money do I have? Oh, I have a lot of money. Take that fish. Ooh. Alright, I'll probably be right back when something interesting is going to be happening. Oh, a letter? Warn the Harrisbecks. Just as I thought, Clara, the two medics that hold our fate in their hands have decided to fight each other. They give every appearance of friendship now, but each one of them is furtively preparing a group of henchmen, primed to capture, maim and destroy their opponent. My spies have informed me of the preparations that the Bachelor undertakes. I am powerless here, for I cannot arrest the Bachelor while I still need his services. The best we can do is to warn Burak of the possible assault. He is working in a house next to the lump, the Olgimsky family home. I will reward you generously, Aglaya Lilich. Cool. Another letter? In search of Denkovsky. I have to ask you for a favor once again. They are much embittered by the events that took place yesterday. They both went to see Commander Block today, and the meeting gave the Harrispecs additional incentive to end Daniel once and for all. Daniel went to the Tanner's district to speak to Andre. After that, for some unknown purpose, he wanted to inspect the houses next to the Twyrein Shabin. Please tell him he must leave there at once. The drunkards from the Shabin were likely to reveal his whereabouts to the Harrispecs. We don't have much time. Rest assured I will repay you this service, as well as services to follow. Maria Kaina. Hmm. Ooh, a lot of shit. A lot of milk. Cool. I wonder uh, if there's gonna be, you know, bandits and looters inside the houses. If there are, I'm not doing the goddamn quest. Forget it. In the house next to the lump. Okay, let's check this house. Nope. No, I'm saying if if they are in one of those houses, but there's still like looters there, then I'm not doing it. The looters will kill me within a second. Ugh. Okay, let's save our game and just try. We don't have anything, I don't think. Alright, we've got our safe game. Yeah, that was a f useless attempt. I did it! There's probably more coming. Oh, jeez. <gasps> oh, God. Okay, save our game. Okay, sweet. Oh. 
Fuck! 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 Oh. No! God damn it! At least I saved my game. Fuck, 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 fuck. Shit, I was so close. Yes! Sweet! Okay, I need my bandages. I need to loot the hell out of this place. What? Oh. A third one? You've got to be kidding me! Oh. Fuck! No! <laughs> I didn't save! Three? Are you serious? Did I loot everything here? I did. Okay, there's no way there's four. No way there's four. If there are four, I'm gonna fucking kill myself. Gloves. And a lot of medicine. Don't tell me this was all for nothing. I guess it fucking was. Yeah, no hair specs here. Jesus. At least they got good shit. But jeez. I don't know if it was worth it. Oh, it's that house. Oh, God. The one house that I didn't check. Butchers! Ah. Shit! Fuck. Can I take them on? Ah. Fuck! Worms? You gotta be kidding me. Can't take the worms, <laughs> much less. <sighs> okay, so don't peek into that room, it's probably at the very I think I have a fever. Okay. Well, maybe not. So, Bodo's children are not an obstacle for you. Well, then it's one or the other. Either you've come to me with kind intentions or you're at, you are my death. If it's the latter, you won't get to me as quickly as you got to them. But if it's the former, do not harbor hard feelings, for they do not know what they're doing. I want to warn you, Burak. The bachelor is after you. He'll find you soon. And who knows what will happen to you then? Huh? Well, he won't be able to deal with me on his own. But you've off my companions, you deadly girl. Is he surrounded by henchmen as usual? He has hair specs, but they can't strike you. So why would you need them if not to kill them? And why would you warn me? You know full well there aren't many reasons for me to trust you. 
Aglaya asked me to, Brock. She's worried about you. I see. Go away, Brock. The sooner the better. Remember, I bring good tidings. Nope. It's useless. We're not doing this quest. Fuck that. We're going to go to the bachelor's place, loot that place a little bit, and um, yeah, peace out. Bye. Nope. We've seen what the hair specs has to say, and honestly, I don't care much for it. Do not care at all. Alright, so it's this house. Whew, F5. Just looting. Just looting, just looting. And here to just loot. They're turned with their backs onto me. So I'll just, I'll just leave. I'll just leave. Okay, nope, not worth it. Let's sleepy time. The day is over. Your timely efforts allowed your supporters to remain unharmed. A new, a new mind, mind performance is being rehearsed at the theater. Excellent. Little sister, there she is again! What day is it? Day 10. Cool. F5. Letters. Oh! What? Did we read this? I dreamt of her tonight, just like the night before. She was all tortured and torn. All she did was look at me. She didn't say a word this time. She was hiding in the house yet again, cowering in the corner away from the windows. The crowd was roaring outside. They shouted. They made all manner of racket. But this time it wasn't her they were after. They were celebrating the arrival of the ball that appeared unexpectedly in the middle of an empty lot. Some of them screamed that the boss has risen from beneath the ground. The others shouted that it came down from heaven, only to be pierced by the stake that was prepared for it down below. Hmm. Clara, 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 Clara. Well, not Clara, but change light. Where are you? Where are you, girly? Girly, 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 no, girly, no, 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 no. Are you upstairs? Girly. Clara, my dear, come on. Fuck. Is she downstairs? I can't fucking see. Is she not here? Is she only... She's not here! What the hell? It's... Wait. It's this house. Okay, she's not gonna be downstairs. Okay, immunity, drugs. Are you not here? Is she not here? At all. Get 
Doesn't seem like she's here. She is! God! Oh, you need to leave at once! Go away! Okay. We made her leave. Am I really not gonna get any good loot from here? Really? Shit. How do I get down? Where is the fucking stairs? Okay, I'm hungry. Oh, bone steak lot. Hi. Seems healthy in here. Ish. Oh. Uh, I guess not. <laughs> oh, I could go through one of the houses back into... Okay, whatever. How's my infection? E yikes! Okay, better. Nice. Save my name. My orders were to destroy every building in this town and then to shoot everyone who survives the bombardment. The military only comes when there's nothing to fix anymore. I'm keen on breaking that habit, though. I know that the people that can change the course of the catastrophe have been working here for some time. We will only destroy the thing pointed at by a healer who can argue in favor of taking such action. How about not shooting at all? If we don't shoot anything at all, the consequences will be devastating. You wanted freedom of choice. So choose a massive shelling or a single pinpoint strike. One way or another, we'll put an end to this circus. Okay, cool. Good to know. There they are. Okay, cool. It worked, actually, this time. Oh, jeez. All of this is infected. Yikes. Okay, <clears throat> the morning of the 10th day has come. It all ends in less than three days. Wow, we're really at the end. Day 10, in which Clara deciphers the hidden purpose of her miracles and the changeling accepts the inevitability of death. Inevitability. Yeah. The winter comes soon, I heard. Hmm. Letters? Notkin writes, 
You're famous. Come at once. Everybody is searching for you still, though not as much as they did before. You're on the good side of the kinds now, so better watch the Inquisitor. Reuben has made a discovery about you. Signed by the hand of Notkin, the soul and a half's chieftain. Chieftain? Yeah? <coughs> Have you heard the news already? What news? Reuben's made a discovery about you. You should see how they're fussing now. Walking about and bribing the kids and sending out messengers. As if we were on the eve of a battle, no less. And it's all to do with you. Who's they? Well, Reuben, Burak, and the Bachelor. The whole medical bunch. Didn't they tell you anything? No. So they're being sly about it. Probably want to con you. Or they'd have got in touch with you a long ago. Or have you been hiding? I haven't. They're all Clara this, Clara that, and how it'll be the worst thing in the world if you slip away. Two of the lads have heard Ruin and the Bachelor having an argument about you. So heated they almost got into a fight. Pity about the almost. Well, I've warned you, so my work here is done. Will you join our gang? I might. Thanks, kid. How do I fix my Break. legs? Break a leg. Thanks. Oh, Bachelor? What are you doing here? The Inquisitor didn't see the Commander still. Do they really hate each other so much? Oh, it's you. Well, as you can see, all that's left of Reuben is a curt note. Who invited you? What are you up to? Hmm, or maybe, let's just say I know everything. Really? Then will you perhaps explain me everything? Because I'm still in the dark. Reuben's been postponing the explaining until after his theory is proven. Where is he himself? Gone to the crucible with the good news. And considering that the only good news as far as the kinds are concerned would be that Simon was still alive, he probably knows how to resurrect Simon and save the town from the commander's cannons. Otherwise, it's suicidal. And what do I have to do with it? I don't know. I think you're part of his calculus. Clara, could he be counting on your help in implementing his plan? And when will Reuben be back? Quite likely never. Why? Because the glorious kind clan's cards have been reshuffled. Georgie and Victor have faded away. Family tradition requires them to perform some kind of a duty that will soon, if not already, result in their demise. Maria's calling the shots now. Does she have a reason to dislike Reuben? I can foresee that she'll have a reason to dislike his discovery. Maria is quite content with the way things are stand now. If Georgie and Victor sacrifice themselves to the memory of their departed, guess who gets to rule? I see. If you're interested to know what Reuben has found out about you, you'd better hurry. And you? I have other plans. Reuben is doing one stupid thing after another. The fact that he's relying completely on you but still hasn't let you know about it is more proof that Reuben is primarily seeking a to atone for his wrongdoings against the kinds. I wouldn't want to interfere. So I'm going to have to go to that horrible place again. Yes. Why are you giving me that look? I'm studying you. Okay, let's see. Transformations, metamorphoses again and again, over and over. How is it possible for demons to change the very nature of themselves? The bachelor is involved with me in my path, will take me to the crucible. Again, I will have to face Maria, for she is the keeper of the key to the mystery which binds me and Reuben together. Okay, talk to Maria. I'm feverish. What can it be? No, I'm not taking you seriously anymore. 
Tell me, Maria, where did they take Reuben? Don't you dare touch me, Pest. I can't shut the door on you. You can enter any house, but I will protect my own person from your attentions. Tell me where Reuben is and I'll leave. Such a shame, I'm losing the strength by the minute, and all the servants capable of bearing arms are off taking Reuben away, or else I'd have made short work of you. But why? The two of you are in it together, aren't you? Yes, he said he was going to carry out his bloody plan using your hands. But don't you worry, when my domestics are back, I'll send them after you immediately. They'll never chase up to me. Oh shit. So this will be the field of our final conflict. Maria has decided to destroy Reuben, but he may still be alive. My final confederate, the commander, will help to set him free. Okay, is anyone gonna chase me or something? It doesn't seem like it. Okay, so to the town hall now. Hmm, bread. Oh, a med kit? Wow, that's a great find! Let's save our game. A little girl. Oh, yes! Yes, 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 and I have enough for a lockpick too. Booyah! Hell yes, another lockpick. Oh, this is great. And you're running around still. Yeah, I'm... I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Hello, Commander. We have two more <clears throat> days. The choice has to be made the day after tomorrow. Yes. This is the order of the powers that be. Yes, yes, we know. Yes? What business brings you here? Has a doctor, Stanislav Rubin, been brought here? He was likely accompanied by several armed people. Yes, indeed. A giant of a man dressed in leather. He was dragged along by twelve people. Was he really a doctor? What had he done to earn such honors? Yes, he's a doctor. What happened to him? They demanded in an insolent manner that we place him under arrest. I prohibited that and demanded an explanation from them. I ordered all of them brought to their brought here. They refused. A gunfight ensued. We shot four of them and captured three. The rest managed to vanish with the prisoner amid the commotion. May I talk to the men you captured? You may. I will issue an order to let you into the jail. But be careful. They say it's dangerous inside. Infection. I can't contract the disease. Yes, you can! That does it. Gonna break some rules. Okay. I said I wanted to die, didn't I? Enough temptations for me. I don't need a confessor. Were you among those who accompanied Reuben? Yes, I was. How did you get there? How did you get here? I was covering the retreat of my comrades, and I'm proud of it. Where did they take Reuben? Tell me and I'll get you out of here. No, it'll be the other way around. You get me out of here and then I'll tell you. I promise I will. You won't get a chance to break that promise. Wait for me. I think I need to talk to the commander and tell him to let him out. <clears throat> That's what I'm getting at. The Inquisitor and I haven't held counsel even though it's against the rules. I place my trust in the doctors. I need the prisoner who accompanied Reuben. <clears throat> Why do you need him? He promised to say where Reuben had been taken. 
Yes, let him speak while facing the barrel of a rifle. Why release a dangerous rascal with violent proclivities? He wouldn't talk. Pride. I will do as you ask, at my own risk. And from now on, you can always ask me for help. You need protection. Thank you. Go to the prisoner. I'll order him released. He'll take my word for it. Oh, hi. You shouldn't breathe prison air for too long. Have you been told what the orders are yet? They're letting you go. Speak. There's one more place in this town that has sturdy bars and windows. It's in the works. They used to imprison those ludite workers. Ludite? Or whatever. Ludite workers there. Superstitious step folk would often sabotage the machines and... You know the place I'm talking about, right? Yes, I'm sure I do. The kind's men could have taken Reuben here, to the corpulent workshop basement, to kill him. Sure enough, let's go there. Is this it? Sure enough. And now Reuben's in jail. Is he? Oh, hair specs. What was that? I must be seeing things. Gah, not you. What happened here? Can't you see yourself? I was walking out of my lair. I was passing by this workshop when I heard a noise. And there were those six or seven men dragging Stack away. I had to take on them. Sadly, I didn't help Stack in the end. Couldn't push my way through to him. They've taken him again? Yes, and got away. I was pinned down by three of them. What was it for? The others took him away. I gave them quite a thrashing, but got wrapped up myself. Looks like a damaged knee and broken ankle. But perhaps it'll be alright. I just wish I could get Stack out. Could you tell Vlad the Younger, at the, at the very least? Where have they taken him? I think they were shouting about going to Spin a Yarn Square. Is that the one where the theater is? Yes. I can guess why. There's a certain place there. I wandered into it once, a maze underneath the knots. Vlad the Younger had made one of the creep holes when he dug his well, and the other one was on the rear side behind the theater. It was there that I saw that creature, that apparition, the Rat Prophet. The Rat Prophet was there? Yes. Did he show you the way out? I don't know. The exit didn't lead into the theater itself, but a little way behind it. Search there. Or maybe summon this rat devil for help. He must know how to get to that creep hole. I don't want to. I'd rather manage on my own. The town must. Okay, so Stack was not in jail. Good to know. Good to know. <clears throat> so this will be the field of our final conflict. Maria has decided to destroy Ruben, but he may still be alive. Oh, we've read this already. The soldiers have attacked Maria's servants. They have captured one of them and thrown him into jail. He will tell me where Ruben was taken. The servant will tell me what I need to know in exchange for a pardon. Will the commander refuse me this gift? The prisoner was set free. They took Ruben to the works and put him in a cell beneath the corpulent workshop. I should go there at once. My path has returned me to the theater where Reuben is being kept in some horrifying dungeon. The Rat Prophet awaits there as well. Okay. Oh, there you are, little rat. Hello. Oh my god, he's so small. Lo and behold, what do you want, Plague? Did you see Reuben being brought here? I have witnessed quite a few mysterious events. That one was among them. It may have taken place in the future, or maybe the recent past. Which would you choose? I choose the past. Careful, it may be a bad call. What do you need Reuben for? I need his help. 
but then rests underground, and it doesn't seem like he's getting out of there anytime soon. Are you sure you want to join him? I am. What? Ah. Fuck! Hey, 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 hey! Ah. Fuck. Oh. <sighs> Shit. The fuck? What was that? <laughs> Gonna fight two guys? Oh, right. Oh, they're the servants that came with him. Right. Right. Ugh, gotta walk all the way. <laughs> okay, cool. Whew. It'll take them a long time to find me here. Hi. Shh. They can be around. Are you a ghost? No. You know, I've been thinking about you all this time. Do you know what your hands are capable of doing? Yes, I work miracles and heal the sick. You transform blood, Clara. You could turn any of the bound into the kind of being that even Simon was not. I don't know how it happens, but your hands enrich a person's blood with corpulences that don't occur in ordinary people. This blood can fight the disease. Perhaps... Now listen to me. Burak has uncovered the secret to his father's panacea. He was running short on blood. He looked everywhere, but couldn't find a being whose blood would combine all the necessary qualities. Blood that could stop the bacteria from multiplying and smother the disease. And so my hands create that kind of blood? Yes. Simon, the old but perfect human being, had the same blood, but it was weak. Simon was very old. In all the other respect, in all the other respect his blood was like what Burak sought after, a holy blood which he still desires, still tries to wrestle from or form an oyun. What does this mean? This means that if we agree, we can defend the town from both the disease and the army cannons. There's a way. Here's a way. You can transform bound volunteers. Their blood will then be spent to make the panacea. It's cruel, but some of the bound will agree. Why do we specifically need the bound? I suppose the predisposition in their blood was what made them bound in the first place. Perfect people with perfect blood. We have to find volunteers among the bound who'd sacrifice themselves. Simple people from the street won't do. That's been verified. So the town's going to turn into a kind of shrine demanding continuous sacrifice? There's even something lofty about it. Many will agree to atone for the wrongs they've inflicted upon the town in their lifetimes. There is, after all, no so shortage. Blah, 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 blah. There is, after all, no shortage of such villainous characters here. Bad grief, Yulia, the Sabarovs, Anna, even yours truly. Do I need to give any further examples? You could easily think of a half a dozen more yourself. I must think it over. Too terrible. Too risky. Perfect valor is to do without witness what one would do before all the world. Hmm. Oh, a new mission statement. Before today I was making rounds of the people. Now I am making rounds of the town. My journey is over. I witnessed the seeds of righteousness within the deepest chasms of evil. I was unable to find a single place that deserved to be destroyed. But what shall I do then? Can I bring back the victims I have condemned? Can I save the ones that died because of me? Is it really within my power to perform a true miracle? What was the point of repeating history if everything was known in advance? What made them say that I was the only able, the only one able to escape? The key to victory and the key to my freedom is lost on the road I have traveled. Here are my hands. Time to act. I have discovered the true nature of my gift. The ability to transform blood. Simon is no human being. There are only the bound, people that follow him. A single touch of mine is enough to distinguish Simon's bound, to turn them into imitations of Simon, 
willing to give their lives and sacrifice themselves to keep the town alive. The road to salvation is clear. I will go to the Inquisitor tomorrow. Alright. Well, that was a lot. Um, I should go talk to the, the Inquisitor regardless. So that she can give me some money and stuff. But I mean, it's... Oh, well, it's 15.30. That's pretty good. I can use a healing kit. Yeah. And yeah, I think this is going to be it for today. Thanks for watching. See you later.